Home prices in Chilliwack have come down dramatically. Now you can buy a home for under a million dollars with a suite. And how much are those suites bringing in as a mortgage helper? Stay tuned, I'm gonna tell you all about it. I'm Tracy Goodwin and I'm a realtor here in Chilliwack, BC. I work with eXp Realty and a team of amazing realtors. If at any time you want to reach me, my phone number is 604-997-6505. And my email address is tracygoodwinrealtor at gmail.com. Or if you want to check me out on my website, www.chilliwackpropertysearch.com. So let's talk about what's sold in the category that I just described. Um, under a million dollars and and the criteria that I'm just basing all this research on today is four beds three baths minimum with two kitchens under a million dollars um, so in the last 90 days eight homes have sold and the list price average was nine hundred forty five thousand dollars and the sold price average was nine hundred and ten thousand dollars the average days on market were about 24 now these homes were all listed between 800 and a million dollars. The the type uh, the side of town um, most sold in this last uh, period of 90 days. Six were sold on the Sardis side. That's the south side of the freeway, and two were sold on the north side um, of the freeway. And they vary in size, age, uh, yard size, etc. Um, between four and 45 years old and 4,000 to 7,000 square foot yard. One that sold and just went up yesterday as sold uh, had seven price reductions in six months. It got relisted and um, just incredible. It went from 1.38 million and it sold, uh, eventually sold at $1 million. So you can see that prices are coming down. So eight have sold in the last 90 days. Average home selling price for those eight was $910,000. So now let's talk about the active listings. And I have gone with people and looked at every single one of these homes. In the last 90 days, right now, um, there are 22 active listings in the Chilliwack area, and they are listed between $799,999 and $999,000. The average list price right now is $922, so it's come down about $23,000 compared to the sold listings. Um, the average days on market right now is 47, but many of them are in the 90 day range. Um, the area of town that these homes are listed are 12 are on the north side and 10 are on the south side. Eight have had price reductions and some as many as five price reductions. Uh, what else can I tell you? Um, one right now of those homes has an accepted offer. Two that are not included in these 22 listings have expired and one has been terminated. And again, each home is um, quite different on the what they've done to the insides, the outsides, the, the bare bones, and everything is, is quite different. So in that $200,000 range, um, the top of the, the price point, they have up to totally gutted the place and done electrical and plumbing. Um, you look at the bottom of the scale and they've added some paint and maybe some flooring but uh, there is quite a variety of things going on there. So depending on your budget, there's something for you between seven, nine ninety nine, nine nine, and um, $999,000. So in summary, active listings right now, there are 22 ranging between 799 and 999. 
to $999,000. The average list price is $922,000. The average days they've been on market is 47, but some of them are up to 99. 12 are on the north side of Chilliwack, which is called Chilliwack proper. 10 are on the south side of Chilliwack, which is called Sardis. And eight of those have had price reductions. One has an accepted offer. Probably wondering how much rent will one of these uh, suites bring in? And that depends, you know, mostly on location. Is it close to a bus route or is it near the university where you can get a student in there or a couple students that want to share? Is it a one bedroom? Is it a two bedroom? You know, can it be a single parent with children? That kind of stuff matters. But right now, these homes are pulling in between $1,100 and $1,700 a month in rent. So if you average that out, it's about $1,500 a month as a mortgage helper. Pretty good, eh? I've recently teamed up with a couple mortgage brokers that are super helpful and very educational. They offer information for free and they just wanna help the consumer and other realtors so that we can help educate our clients on um, payment options, payment plans, down payments and you know stuff like that so anyways I'm gonna put up a few charts here and we'll just go over some of the rates based on a nine hundred and twenty four thousand nine hundred dollar home so as you can see the chart is based on a discounted rate of three point eight zero percent at a variable rate so we're looking at the list price of the house is $924,900. And if you go across the top, they show you a 20% down, 15% down, 10% down, and 5% down options. Okay, so if you have 20% down, you are going with an uninsured mortgage. So if you go and you take a look at 20% down, your down payment is 184,980, which reduces your mortgage amount to 739,920. So your mortgage payment on that is $3,812 per month. So your estimated taxes and you add your heat and hydro in there, your monthly shelter expense is $4,164. So now if you go to the 15%, 10%, and 5%, now these are called insured mortgages and you add a fee on to each of those. So if you have 15% down, at the end of that, if you look at the bottom figure, it's 4,001 or 4,516. If you have 10% down, $4,773. And if you have 5% down, your mortgage payment with shelter, uh, like your taxes and your heat, comes to 5,060. So this is just an estimate, but it gives you an idea of what the rates would be based on 3.80 variable rate. Now, depending on your circumstances and your preferences, let's take a look at a 4.79% fixed rate. So if you um, go through the scenario, uh, the first column 20% down, um, uninsured mortgage, your estimated property taxes and heat, your monthly shelter expense would be $4,567 a month. So if you go across the chart and look at the insured rates, you know, with 15, 10, and 5% down, relatively, you're going to pay approximately 4956 up to $5,558 per month for your estimated total monthly shelter expenses. So there you have it. 
all those homes for under a million dollars with a suite for income and a mortgage helper up to $1,500 a month, give me a call. Let's go shopping.